Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to share with you what I eat in a day. So this is just going to be a cozy vlog of everything that I make and the little moments in between. Of course, let's start with breakfast. I like to make eggs with avocado and cottage cheese as well. And this is really just because my husband likes to have this for breakfast. I also like it, but I usually don't have too much because I don't like the feeling of feeling too full in the morning. I also make sure there are some fruits on the side just so that we have like that good nutritious start of the day. I used to eat more heavy car breakfasts, but since switching to this type of breakfast, I noticed that I have a better start of the day. Okay, so today, I woke up with a mission which is really like a housewife type of mission because I have been meaning to get my spices in order I bought spice organizers from Ikea to keep in your drawer but I have forgotten to actually get the spices so now it really is like very messy and yeah let's fix that so here I already have the jars they have been washed and everything and before going out to get more spices as well as the other groceries for today's food let's see what I do have and and clean up this mess for a little bit. Okay, so before going out, I always have that hmm, which hijab should I wear moment. So I'm super excited to share with you a package that I got from Culture Hijab with a few stunning new hijabs. So let's decide what to wear today together. Here is your reminder to drink your water. I really encourage you to try and add lemons or in today's case oranges to add to your water if you struggle to drink enough water in a day. Ever since I started doing this I get much more water in. I think it's so easy to forget to drink water. I saw a video the other day where someone mentioned how they are playing a game where they get to live three days and every time they drink water they get three more days to live and I thought that that was so funny but also like so true and I don't know it kind of changed the perspective for me as well Thank you. 
Now let's get to lunch. Today I was really craving tomato soup and grilled cheese because I just love that combination. I'm currently a student but more like a stay-at-home student because I have no classes this period. I just need to write a paper. So I don't need to go to uni and this gives me lots of time to prepare nice meals during the day. So for lunch I'm making a very simple tomato soup and I'll make a bit more so I can batch the soups for another day. This way I always have like a soup back up in the freezer which I can take out before dinner and this way I always have a nice extra part of dinner. So ever since it became fall and winter I really got into the soup season. I don't yet have that many soups that I can make but the ones that I do make I make sure to make them in big batches so I can enjoy them in the days to come. And there's something about eating soups as a starter before the main dinner that makes me feel like I have my life together, which sounds so odd probably. It's just that over the months, ever since moving here, I feel like my own home is my favorite restaurant where I get to eat different courses of meals without too much extra work, where I get to choose what's for dinner every day, where I can feel comfortable and myself and I know I'm kind of romanticizing cooking but honestly why shouldn't I I've been really enjoying it so far Okay, so now it's time for that midday snack whilst I'm working on my paper. So here I have iron, which is one of my favorite drinks. And this is a flavored kind, which I recently discovered with my husband and it's really good. I also took the last cookie. I make these chocolate chip cookies I think twice a month and by keeping them in a jar they will last for a few days. So here is the last one and yeah they are pretty good. After I'm done with my study session, I make sure to clean up the kitchen for a little bit because I love a clean kitchen and I hate working in an untidy kitchen. So I need to make sure that before I start working on dinner, I have a tidy environment or at least as tidy as possible. I'm still very bad at keeping the kitchen clean whilst cooking. I end up using like all the utensils I can possibly use. There are bowls everywhere. It's really something that I still have to work on. Today I'm making, well, the recipe book says it's chicken masala or chicken tikka masala, which is an Indian dish, but in my home we call it kipkeri, which translates to chicken curry, and it is a Surinamese version of the chicken masala, where we add potatoes and green beans and we eat it with roti. 
And this is my favorite meal in the whole world. Growing up, my dad made this all the time, and anytime he asked, Sydney, what do you want me to cook for dinner? This would be my answer. And it's weird to make it myself. It feels not necessarily illegal, but just something that only my dad or my grandmother is supposed to make for me, and I'm not supposed to make it myself. But I guess part of growing up is realizing that there is a joy to be found in making the dishes you loved growing up yourself. And I'm going to practice making this recipe and once I start getting really good at it, I'll serve it to them and kind of look for approval. So I asked my dad and my uncle how you make this dish and they both gave different answers. And then I also have this cookbook which gives an even simpler method of making it. And because I'm still a beginner, I'll start with following this book's recipe and later I'll try my family's methods as well. Also, can we have a moment for my new pen? My parents gave this to me as a gift and I'm obsessed with it. If there's anything to know about me, it would be that I love the color green and especially this specific color green. So it just fills me with so much excitement to be cooking meals with this pen. While the dish is simmering, I clean up again, and sometimes it feels like I'm cleaning the whole day, but that's also because we don't have a dishwasher, and it's better to do the cleaning bit by bit, compared to piling it up and postponing doing it, at least for me. And honestly, now it's really just part of my daily routine. So this was everything that I eat in a day and in the evenings I'll just have some tea but that's really about it. Let me know if you have any recipes that I should try or if you have any other videos you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.